Brian García hace un en vivo para todos sus grandes seguidores en el TikTok. El boxeador, youtuber y influencer es muy reconocido con sus 40 millones de seguidores en las redes sociales y es un gran boxeador que ahora tiene un gran reto con el gran campeón Devin Haney. La pelea que está pactada entre estos dos grandes gladiadores será sumamente impactante para todos los grandes amantes del boxeo, ya que Ryan García con su montón de seguidores que tiene en Instagram, que son 40 millones, siempre están al margen de lo que está pasando alrededor de la vida del gran youtuber, influencer y boxeador. Aquí las palabras que dijo Ryan García sobre lo que estará pasando alrededor de su carrera boxística. Aquí le dejamos las palabras de Brian García. Whatever, you know, people may assume that I am mentally ill. What, what did they say? I'm going through a manic episode or uh, what, whatever they came about to, to to try to to try to make what I was saying, which was the truth, seem like it was a lie. They're trying to create confusion within the people to make it seem that anything I said was a lie. Everything I said was the truth. And with that being said, I am going to now enter this live with prayer. Father in heaven, I just want you to guide me, Lord. Guide me with your Holy Spirit, Lord, the spirit of truth, that I say nothing but the truth. So help me, God, Lord, please, Lord, let me not say one lie, Lord. All I ask is that you, you, don't, you don't let me say one lie, Lord, that you let me defend the children that are hurting across the whole world, Lord, and that the experience I experience, the experiences that so many kids experience around the world, Lord, that you shine light on it and that you give me strength, you give me power only through you, Lord. Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. Okay, so with that being said, I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name. But you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as safe as I can. But but there will be a time. My why it, last fight was for my son Henry. I wanted to fight for him, and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. I'm gonna give you guys some facts, since some people want some facts. Three fast facts, and I got a paper here, because everybody likes facts. They want papers, right? Everybody wants to prove? Okay. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay, the first fact. With human trafficking, including sex trafficking, the global industry of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy, that's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth, but if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two, globally, the International La Labor Organization estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. Around the whole world. The US, in particular, where we live, where I live, The U.S. is the number one nation in the world for consuming child sex material. Now, those are the three facts. And, and I already know about this. I'm going to go a little deep. No, don't worry. I'm not going to go into too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people. You got to understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop... Stop trying to join the live, please. I'm trying to speak facts right now. 
But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. I'm going to touch this really quick. Really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face. And you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation when to start too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also release the truth, nonprofit, I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not going to get into that. But it's the truth. And, and I'm hurt every day because they have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. As you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? BB wanted a meeting with me, can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey brother, good morning. I spoke with the prime minister BB. He would like to meet Ryan. Period. And it's right here on text. Y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not going to get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying, but I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back. Okay. Let's get back to this and how this is going to shape your boxing. You know what I'm saying? Your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right. And he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I, I'm gonna fight Devin Haney and I will beat him. And that fight is gonna come on. Mm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation, we know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. My, my own children, I can't imagine that happening. There is no clout that I get out of this. I was living fine, I was making great money. I had a lot of, I, still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person, one person, just one, who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this, because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have angels, bodies are covered with eyes. That, that supernatural ability to see everything, that's something God created. Your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense, that's something God created. But let, but let them know how this is gonna push you forward for the fight, man, like how this is your motivation for this fight. Ezekiel, so Ezekiel 10, 12, I believe it is. Look mm -hmm. it up, if you don't believe me. Anything you say, I say, just look it up. Just look it up. Ezekiel 10, 12, please. 
because everybody thinks this is a joke. It's like the movie, Look Up. What's that movie, Look Up? With Leonardo DiCaprio, and he and he's screaming to the world, yo, the world is, is about a, the world is ending. There's an asteroid coming. Everybody's like, yo, let's take some pictures. Remember, like the times of Noah, I'm gonna speak this, like the times of Noah, people will be drinking and people will be marrying and everything in life will be this, like, like normal. But God's calling up to his prophets and his people to speak of his return. So yeah, while you guys laugh and while you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat, Cat Williams is exposing the truth? Why do you think so much truth is coming out? Hold on, hold on, let me just say something real quick though. Like, if, if anybody is upset that Ryan is trying to shed light on, child, on children being sex trafficked, I think you are the one with the problem. I'm gonna just say that right now. And so with that being said, man, this whole camp is based on protecting the kids, saving the kids, and we're using that as motivation for this entire camp. So if you guys can't, be, can't get behind that message, I think you need to look in the mirror because you yep. need help. They don't even know we've been training. Hmm. You don't want, uh, if I lift up my hood, you'll see a six pack. I've been training. Amen. Shout out my coach, Sit TNT. TNT, baby. TNT. Let's go. My whole team's behind me. <laughs> if I show you my whole team, why do you think they're rocking with me? Why do you think they always, you know, they, they never deny me? Remember, the times will be like Noah. Oh, why every one? There's stories of giants coming out, stories of aliens. Can you open your eyes once? The proof is there. I mean, I just personally want to say that the the proof is there. Well, let's get some. Let's get some. Uh... Okay, I, I would I would love to get some questions. How do we start up questions? Interact. How do we interact? Questions. Quick ball drawing us. Lightning Q and A. Perfect. I don't know how this works, but uh... and please don't be shy to ask questions about boxing, guys. Please. please. Yeah, please. Because they're already watching us, bro. <laughs> they're definitely watching us. I don't. That's not a. That's not a question. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I think, <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> you know, you know, right? <laughs> no, we need some more. We, we're gonna work for deep questions. I, 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 you know, I want, I want more uh, direct questions. First name is Black. Yeah, of course. Who is threatening you? You have no idea who's threatening me. A lot of people. Where are all the boxing questions at? Come on. Here's a big fight, 420, let's go. We turn it up. And we're saving children at the same time. And then we're gonna touch a little bit on what happened to me. I personally am not gonna speak on what happened to me because then it, it, it does invoke some real pain, real anger, mm -hmm. and um, I can't do it right now. They don't know how things you've been through, bro. Keep like that. I can't. All right, it looks like we're not getting oh, wait, any questions, wait, bro. Wait, wait, time travel. No, we can out, we can out, we can out.